Jay Siram, everybody. Hope you're well. I would say lovely to see you, but I can't see you, even though you can see me. So just a quick introduction. My name is Rupert Ward, Assistant Service Coordinator at the Narva Roadside Centre in Leicester. Over the next few minutes, I'll be talking about some wonderful service opportunities, which we can all get involved in. As an offering of love to Sai Baba on his 95th birthday, the Sati Sai International Organisation initiated a global project called Adoption of Communities. As part of the programme, the Sati Sai International Organisation plans to adopt many communities around the world in a sustainable manner. The goal of the project is transformation of the heart for both the Sati Sai International Organisation volunteers and the recipients of the service, as taught by Bhagavan. And also the service will be life-changing for those whom we serve. It was in March 2007 when Baba initiated a new project for the betterment of villages and families therein, in a holistic way called the SSS VIP. One of the key things Baba mentions is that effort should be made to develop the villages in all possible ways. The elders and the children, the rich and the poor, all should work in unity to make this project successful. So we have an opportunity with Swami's Grace to make this project successful. Currently, through this project, the Satisai International Organization has adopted 158 communities in 41 countries. So we can see from this the worldwide participation and enthusiasm through which the project has evolved. Here in the UK, we've chosen to focus on a few communities in Sri Lanka and Nepal, working in partnership with the local Satisai International Organizations. In Sri Lanka, we'll be supporting poor rural communities for an integrated approach in the areas of social care, educare, aquacare, medicare and enviricare. In Nepal, we'll continue to support a girls' hostel, which is almost complete. Currently in Sri Lanka, we'll be working with two villages, which I dare not pronounce, but which are shown on the screen. They're in the eastern region in the district of Batikaloa. In these villages, 204 families with 700 vulnerable people will benefit. The project, which will evolve, is due to start imminently and will continue over the next two years. We chose to support Sri Lanka because we have done projects in the country, established contacts and identified clear needs. The villages selected are suffering from a previous war, there are no sanitation facilities and the nearest hospital and school are quite a distance. The people in the villages depend on rainwater for their home gardening, which is a source of income, and also for their cattle. In the dry season, they have to walk two kilometres to access the nearest dug wells. Some of the areas with clear needs identified include the building of a nutritional flower plant, where 30 widows can generate income through producing ground flour and selling it at the local market. Potentially, there is a plan to support the construction of four dug wells in order to provide access to safe and pure water. This could be upgraded to have pipe water to have pipe work constructed to provide water directly to people's homes. There'll also be opportunities to help support in the provision of bicycles for children to get to school, provision of school uniforms, educational items, supporting an EHV centre, provision of sanitation facilities, etc. More information will be available as the project evolves. Devotees in the UK will have the opportunity to support this wonderful project in several ways. Initially, bearing in mind Swami mentions the Celia on Desires programme, we can help through financial contributions to purchase equipment, cover construction costs, etc. As the project evolves, there may be other opportunities, as mentioned previously. In time, there may be opportunities to promote manpower on the ground through medical camps, English tuition, IT support, etc. The project to support the girls' hostel in Nepal has so far raised around £55,000 in the UK and devotees can continue to support the hostel through the CD on Desires programme. If you would like more information, please contact the Centre Service Coordinator, the Centre President or the Regional Service Coordinator or send an email to the address shown on screen.
Thank you. And Jay Saiba.